What's up everybody, Tindo here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess in the orange glasses, and check it out. We're at Goodwill, that's where we're gonna start the day, and then we're gonna go to some of our toy booths and dish booths, and our antique flea markets, and do a little restocking, and then I don't know what else we'll do, but we're gonna just do stuff today, all right? So stick around. I was at this Goodwill a couple days ago and there were some crazy games here. I got a really cool PS2 haul from here. And this is a game I left behind and I kind of regret it. So I'm gonna pick it up today. I'm sure plenty of you are the same way. Um, you find something at the thrift store and you go, I don't know about it, maybe I should get it. And then you don't. And then you lay awake at night going, why didn't I just get it? It's probably gone now. Well, I did that the other day with a pair of jeans and well, they're here still, cool. I guess I have to get them today, so coming on with me. I got excited. There's some super colorful PlayStation controllers there, but they're both aftermarket rip. I think I found two more pairs of jeans. I found some vintage oh, Cherokee yeah. with like this cool little houndstooth pattern. And then a pair of Union Bay corduroys, which are pretty cool. So not technically jeans, but that's okay. But good thing I found them because the dishes section is pretty bare. So I would have been coming home empty handed after this one. All right, that was an all right first stop, I guess. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy yet. What'd you get, some jeans? Got some jeans. All right, before we move on, we're gonna stop real quick at Merchant Square. Hannah's got a bag full of dishes to put in her booth, and then I got an arm full of Nerf guns to put in my toy booth. Uh, both of my toy booths here in town have kind of finally started to sell out of the regular Nerf guns that are there, so gonna, gonna do really my first restocking of Nerf guns at this one. All right, Hannah's got way, way more restocking to do than I do. I did most of mine yesterday. I've just got these guns. The good stuff. Here's the good one. All right, popping in real quick to my booth just to kind of throw a few more things in there. I don't have a ton, but if there was just some odds and ends left over from the last couple of days of shopping that I needed to price, clean up, and put up in, up in here a little bit. E. There we go. That was really hard to do with one hand. Now I don't know where to put these. Let's see. Um, put that back there. I won't put this. Haha. Uh -huh. Figured it out. Big brain. I really like this thing. It's called the lunch tote. But my grandma used to use it for ice cream because then she could have the handle to pick up the, the ice cream out of the freezer, which I thought was very smart. All right, now we're back at the same problem here. Put that there for now. Lunch tote with this. Maybe there. Squeeze it on in there. Got one more with a little cracker keeper. All right. I'm gonna use my hands now to get the rest of this in here. Did something pretty neat here. I just put those three guns up on vertical display to make a little more room here. Something I'm actually gonna do really soon is put uh, another piece or two of cork board down this wall. So all the Nerf stuff could be in this corner and then I can put more Hot Wheels random products that need to hang up on the wall there. Something here sold. Don't remember what it was, but there, oh, Forky. Somebody bought Forky, which is dope because I put a lot of money on them. Uh, most of the Lego stuff seems to be here. I think a Lego case sold, so that's good. Never really know exactly what sold until the sales report came in, but someone's definitely been in here looking through my stuff. A couple pops are gone, a couple of the little ones, dope. I, uh, I feel like I've got about enough pops in here now. I actually have a handful of pops going to my other toy booth, so that's good. Uh, I like when I can finally start putting the same thing in multiple booths, because for a while I've only been putting them, putting the pops in this one. Let's go check on Hannah. All right, played a little Tetris, got that smashed in. Um, it's looking a lot fuller, which is really good. Um, I noticed a few things that were missing. I am missing one of these little Disney cups. I know that sold last night. Um, other than that, I'm, 
I'm sure something else is gone, but I can't put my finger on it yet. But um, I guess we'll find out tonight. The most important thing I've got to do today is I brought a pack of Avatar stickers that I was able to buy online. And I'm gonna fill up this here Avatar basket. And it's not very many. There was already only 10 or so Avatar stickers in there, but they all sold. So now there's 50 or 60 of them in there. And uh, yeah, looks good. You dig? Sweet. Did you get yours done? I did. High five. I also just noticed my Ninjago is gone, which is cool because I was surprised to see they're worth a little bit on eBay. Uh, I, I marked mine down a few dollars under eBay because it was both a little scratched up and also was missing the plug because it was a piggy bank. So it was missing the plug that holds it all together. But someone bought that today. It's good. Uh, I had a really good day yesterday. What is today, Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesdays, Mondays and Tuesdays are usually dead for us, but I had a really great day of sales yesterday, so looks like that might continue today. We don't always do a great job of it, but we try really hard to hit every Goodwill in town, which is about a hundred of them once a month. That sounds ridiculous, but we, you guys watching the channel regularly know how much thrifting we do. And uh, a lot of Goodwills we hit multiple times a month because we live closer to them. Then there's Goodwills like this one that are really just a once a month Goodwill. It's been a good month since we've been here. So let's check it out. Starting out in this Goodwill over in the dishes section. Let's see. Some amber glass, nice little stack. as cheap as I'd like it. This looks like it was supposed to have a lid. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, that one too, probably not. Cranberry one. How much is on that? The Teflon bottom on it. It's like 450. I wish it had a lid with it though. Not gonna get it with a lid, I think. Ooh, Pyrex. Bad price, but you know, hey, it's here. Well, not much shaking yet. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this gun. It's a bummer because it has clips that come in it that are quite specific. And uh, the gun is almost never at a Goodwill with those clips. I have found it with them, but not often. And a lot of guns that come with proprietary or specific clips, I don't buy them unless they're there. But this one I will, because all other regular Nerf clips still fit it. So that's good. Uh, and this is a popular gun just because it does hold two. And I can put two large capacity clips in it. Somebody will still want to buy it. Also, $249 for that will buy. I'm trying to get one of each color of these. Bunch of tiny little cast irons. I think they're all unbranded though. They want eight bucks for them. No thanks. They need a good clean too. I spotted a pop from across the room but it is in the back of the store. Uh, I expect it to kind of be robbed at five bucks. We'll check that out. Lordy lordy. He's oh no! Busted. He's had a hole poked in him. Boo. It is boo because I'd totally buy it if it wasn't <laughs> dead chicken. I'm going to end up being way more excited about this than you think that I should be. But look, finally it's her. I had the other two sitting at home, this size, this set. And I've been looking for this one to complete the set so I can put it in my toy booth for months now. Hannah's going to be pumped, super pumped. It's going to be kind of hard not to keep them. We both like Powerpuff Girls. Uh, but got the whole set, got to sell it. Also check this out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what this is for. I want you to comment below. If you know what this is for, I've been uh, putting some stuff together to make something special in the last couple episodes. Comment below if you know what that's for. I bet plenty of you are gonna be able to guess that. I've been needing a giant egg. So I've noticed a bit of a trend in my dish booth that collectible things are really doing well. So like a lot of Disney cups, a lot of just name brand things that are marketed toward uh, some fan base. I think I'm gonna start picking up some like Coca-Cola, Pepsi products. It's only 99 cents, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try that one out. Um, I'd like to find more Disney stuff because those are doing really well, but those are harder to find. I'll come across them eventually though. All right, 
That was a pretty good haul. Pepsi Glass, Powerpuff Girls, Egg, Legos, Nerf, all things good. Now, we're gonna go to our other toy booth right now. We got another bag of stuff in the van to stock up there, and then we'll keep on moving. We are at our second flea market location, Brass Armadillo, one of my favorite places in the world. And I might have lied earlier if I said I had a small bag of stuff to restock this one. I got a cart full. Yesterday's episode, or yesterday and the day before, maybe, I restocked the other one pretty heavy. This is just about everything else that was laying around the house. You got Megazord, Big Mario, a bunch of Nerf guns. I'm gonna load this place up before the weekend gets here. All right, it's not as disheveled as I had expected. I thought for a second someone had bought the Infinity Gauntlet, but someone just moved it. Uh, there's definitely some stuff sold. It's a few of the plushies that were on this shelf. Someone's trying to dig in my empty Mario box. They probably thought something was in it, but it's just for display. I believe it originally came with a t-shirt. Skylander needs to go back home. Megazord, the last time we had one of these, it sold. It was sitting right here. So we'll probably leave that guy there. These Nerf guns need prices. Mario's ready to go home. Bruh. <laughs> We got some pops. He is all, well, maybe I never priced him. He doesn't have a price tag on him. All right, I'm gonna make this a Star Wars shelf, I do believe. I think that's the plan that I had. Uh, but first I got the same pack of Avatar stickers that I had at the other booth. I bought two of them, one for here, one for there. So where's my little Avatar basket? I may not have one as clearly noted as I did at the other location. I'm not sure what to do with these. I've, I've been trying to get more of these baskets, but I've wiped every money tree out of them within 100 miles of here. And I'm not getting any more in stock. I guess I'm just gonna toss them right here in the Dragon Ball Z basket for now. That's just where they're gonna have to live. All right, let's keep moving. Star Wars shelf, it's gonna be a Star Wars shelf. Somebody did, it looks like, buy the other Ninja Turtle glass that was here. I need a Ninja Turtle shelf too. You know, I think I'm gonna move all these guys. Put them in a slightly smaller shelf. And I'm gonna actually make this Ninja Turtle shelf. <laughs> oh, this Ninja Turtle lunchbox is life. Don't fall over. All right, that's gonna do it. A few new guns up, a little bit of rearrangement. We have a Ninja Turtle shelf now and kind of a Star Wars shelf, but it's really just in a tactics shelf. I'm hoping that people that collect Star Wars stuff might want a couple of those on their shelf, but probably not a lot of them are gonna sell. I really should just be selling it as a big lot. We'll probably sell the rarer, bigger ones, which is okay, because those two alone will make back the money I spent on them 10 times. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's go to another thrift store. All right, we're rolling up to Goodwill number three. This is the round front Goodwill. Uh, I was here, we were here what, like last week, maybe a week before, it hadn't been that long. It's probably been a week ago. Bought a bunch of pops and uh, I'd love for that to happen again. I doubt it will, but uh, it's usually a pretty good Goodwill. Look at the round front. I don't understand why. This building must have been something else and the Goodwill moved in. Ooh. I like the fan of the opera. I was a theater major. I also like this cat picture, because I like cat pictures. They're real cute. Video games are usually right here on this bottom shelf, and there are a few, but looks like a whole lot of nothing to me. A whole lot of nonsense. Nothing. Cabela's. I got very excited and then very let down. In Goodwill fashion, I found something I want, but it's too expensive but I found both of these federal glass bowls. They, it's pretty much the first, one of the first things that sold in my booth. They aren't worth very much at all. It's like, that's a $15 bowl and that's like, I don't know, probably 15 as well, so. <sighs> I don't really know how to feel about this. The shield goes on that gun. It's not something they were aware of here. Uh, they priced them separately, $1.49 on the shield. What does it say? About 10 bucks on the gun. And I have plenty of these guns without the shield, so I'm just buying the shield. Some poor sap's gonna buy the gun. Incomplete, but I'm not paying that much for the gun. I got really excited because I've been looking for a salt and pepper shaker, and I thought this was one, but it's not. It's a tiny, tiny piggy bank. What? 
How much are you trying to keep in there? It's not really saving, is it? We've got a tough choice to make. Three bags of Legos, seven, 10, 10. This one has a ton of mini pigs, and I mean a ton. I saw Lord Business in there, several Stormtroopers, and some other stuff, I'm not even sure what it is. This one has some in it, not quite as many it doesn't look like, but there's Aquaman, I think. I'm not sure what else. But I really should get them just because of the mini figs. Hmm. Couldn't find any video games today, but I have found something video game related I'm definitely buying. Soul Calibur 5. What a beautiful book. I imagine that probably came in or with something else, like in a sleeve or something, but 329. I'll buy that every day of the week. Also, every time I put together a Back to the Future VHS trilogy, I sell it when I have it complete, and I'm pretty sure I've got yet, but another one sitting at home that's missing number three, so I'll be buying that for sure, too. All right, that's probably gonna be our last stop, but I wanna show you a couple things before, before we quit for the day. I'll put the Legos in the buggy. Let me grab this gun that I already had, and I almost dropped off today at one of our booths. That is what that gun's supposed to look like. That goes on there, and then there's a really long clip. The longest clip goes in there, and that's how that gun came original. And uh, now that it's like that, I can sell that one for a whole lot. They go for a whole lot more with that shield. High five. VHS, and almost you see- Almost sealed. Yeah, almost sealed, and that's pretty dope too. Nice. Happy about that. I've been selling a lot of manuals like that in my booths, and uh, it's really nice when I can get them for three bucks and sell them for a few dollars more. All right, guys, we did not buy a ton of stuff at the thrift, but we did a lot of work today, so that kind of makes up for it. Let's just run through everything we got real quick and talk about each thing. Soul Calibur 5. I do have Soul Calibur 5, so maybe I should throw that in and give this a thumb through while I play it. Yeah. I just, you know, I can actually really see the benefit for gaming manuals. For fighting games it's got so many combos in it and stuff and it even has like the amount of damage and it's all like in spreadsheet form that's a pretty cool gaming manual wow. i like that one pink lego box an easter basket a with big a easter basket it. yeah <laughs> um a lot of you have probably already guessed what i'm gonna do with it or already know i'm gonna turn it into a yoshi lamp it's gonna get painted like a yoshi egg and uh, I'm very excited about it. I, I, I got inspiration for this idea last night, and uh, I was like, well, I just gotta find a giant egg at the thrift tomorrow, and guess what I did? I found a giant egg at the thrift. Very happy about that. What else did you get? I got some jeans. I was you, very... you keep talking about those, I'm gonna go grab something. I was very excited to find these jeans, because um, I haven't really picked up a lot of jeans in the last couple of weeks, but these were half off, so I was super happy about that. Um, anytime that I can find things with like prints or patterns or something really fun on it, totally, totally pick them up, especially when they're cheap. Uh, but those are like 90s Cherokee jeans. I actually left these behind at the thrift uh, about a week ago or so, and I was like, mm, I should have bought those. And so whenever I saw that they were still there, I guess I went and bought them. The reason I left them behind is because they're like capris. They're really, really <laughs> weird. Super short. So I'm gonna cut them and make them short. So that'll work. And then last one, I got a pair of corduroys. Very nice. So corduroys are something I don't pick up a ton because I don't find it a ton, but people like them. I did buy a video game today. I thought I didn't. I bought her today and look, the whole trio's here. Let's go! Oh, I'm so happy. I kind of want to keep them, don't you? <laughs> Here. I mean, we're going to probably end up putting them in a toy booth, but like, let's put them on the shelf for now. I don't know where to put them. I guess they can squuzz right in here. Oh, Bubbles got to sit on her sisters. Whoop. I'm super happy about that. Uh, I remember finding the first one. I think I've had the first one for a long time, and I found it like at the bins or something before everything closed down. And then I found the second one a little bit later, and I was like, well, I gotta get it. I gotta look for the third one. And we finally did. As I said earlier, this Nerf gun's special because it can hold two clips, so it's just fun, you know? It's a fun one. You get two of these bad boys right here, and you can only imagine what that would look like, how many darts that would hold. Some damage. Yeah, that's a good one. And then I got the uh i got the shield so there's that gun 
I have a couple of these on sale in Owensboro. I think we took four of them complete like this, and we sold two or three. So finally, I have one here. This is the kind of stuff that when collectors come into our toy booths rather than just kids wanting Nerf guns, that's the kind of stuff they're looking for. I got a Pepsi Cola cup. It's a it's a goblet. <laughs> it is very much so a goblet. Look at this thing. It's pretty dope. So someone's gonna drink wine out of their Pepsi cup. I got Back to the Future 3, so now I have another complete set of these to put in our booth. I also got Jimmy Neutron for the PlayStation 2, similar to Hannah's jeans. What, where, which Goodwill did you skip those jeans at the first time and then get them this time? Uh, it was the very first one we went to this morning. Okay, I got, I got this the second one we went to, but it was the same thing. I left it last week because I bought like 13 games or something. I just, I, at some point I was like, I got to put a few back and not spend all my money right now. Just came back the next couple days and bought them. Uh, I bought this blue basket today too because uh, stuff gets so disorganized in our van. My plan is to put like 10 or 15 of these in the back of our van to sort stuff in so that it's not such a mess in there all the time. Uh, I, I, I try to be as organized as I can. And it's very easy when you bring as much stuff home as we do on a daily basis to get disorganized. But that is not all we got. I'm not going to sit here in this video and go through these, but there's so much, many big stuff in this. And uh, I'm just living in this dream where I get a gumball machine and sell many things out of it. Mm -hmm. That's really, really something I want to do. So uh, look forward to that in the near future. Subscribe if you haven't already, because whenever I get around to that project, I'm going to do it. The problem with doing it, I'd already have done it, because I've found a place to source the capsules they would go into inside of the machine. But the problem is, is that all my machines are actually gumball machines. They're not toy dispensers. Because you know, uh, when you put 75 cents or a dollar in a machine, it comes out in a big ball, and that's about how big it would have to be for the mini pigs to go into it. Well, I don't have a gumball that dispenses them that big. All of the ones I have would dispense stuff way too small to put a mini fig inside. Yeah. So, I'm waiting to find the proper proper machine. But do you see how many mini figs are in I'm home? very excited. There's Lord Disney. Oh, I just saw Batman, too, right Batman's by him. Batman's in there. Joker's in here. He's right there. Can't That's awesome. really see him. Yeah, you're gonna, well, we're going we're gonna to have to do a little bit more Lego content in the near future just because of how many Legos we've been bringing uh, home because we've been bringing home so many. We'll have to show off our mini fig collection when all that's done. Yeah. Oh, we got some Nerf darts in here, oh, too. Yeah. Well, I always tell you guys when we bring them home, I don't know if your Goodwills are like this. Maybe comment below and let me know because I'd be interested to know. But they always have trash and darts and all that stuff in these because at the bottom of every bin and every Goodwill in the world is Legos because the smallest stuff sinks <laughs> to the bottom. And like once a week they'll clean it out and put it on a bag and sell it. That's why it's always half Lego, half trash. It's a true, it's a real thing. At least it is here. Matter of fact, if you guys are new to the channel, like in the last month or two, since basically since before the coronavirus, you really should go back a few months ago and watch some of our videos and just see how things were because there was this awesome, super ultimate magical goodwill we went to on a daily basis called that we call the bins. Here in town, it's called the Clearance Center, the Goodwill Clearance Outlet or something like that. They're called different things in different cities, but... Uh, we're just wait, waiting to be able to go back. It's actually open. I don't know if we've told you guys this. Our, our bins is actually open, but they strictly limit the number of people inside, and then they limit the number of people digging through each bin to one. So it's a really complicated matter, so we're just not going back uh, until things are way more close to normal or until there's an opportunity to do so without so much trouble. I miss um, it, though. <laughs> we do miss it a ton because, I say this sometimes in, at the end of these videos, we resell clothing. And this stuff is $6 a piece, $5 a piece, and the bins, we always pay, you know, 50 cents a piece. But I say all that to say, I would really like for some of you guys that are newish to go back and watch some old videos over the next couple days. Maybe maybe at the end of every one of our daily videos, you, you go back and catch an old one because, uh, you know, we used to do some different stuff, some different type of thrifting that I can't wait to get back to. But uh, we're, all, we're all making sacrifices right now. But let's talk about our favorite things before we get out of here. What's your favorite thing you got? The Legos. The Legos, really? <laughs> Just because there's so many mini things? I'm so excited! I'm a sorting Lego kind of guy, and Hannah's a putting together mini things kind of guy. I like to gal. make the people! <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's probably my favorite, too. I, you know what, though? If I could find one of these every day of the week, I'd be rich, because every time I can complete one of these guns, I make some money off of them. Yeah. But they don't show up very often. They don't. Uh, so yeah, that's probably my favorite. You guys comment below before we get out of here and let me know what your favorite thing that we got today was. 
Was it Nerf? Was it Lego? Was it the one dish? Was it the goblet? Well, you know, it's funny. I got You got one dish and I got one video game. <laughs> we both just kind of sucked today. We struck out. <laughs> yeah, well, we also went thrifting a little bit too early. It wasn't really restocking time yet, but we had so much to do. It just, we went thrifting when we could. But let's do a couple things before we get out of here. Guys, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button first and foremost. Uh, we're just jetting on the way to 3,000 subs. We went up 500 subs this month, right at it. And that's our biggest increase ever. And uh, I appreciate all you guys watching who hit the subscribe button uh, to get us here. Now, if you're a newbie and you're watching, hit that subscribe button and keep helping us get to 3,000. Also, before we get out of here, pretty please, pretty please, go check out our Discord, the link for it's below. You can come over there and chat with us, come show us some pictures of your Legos, your, come show us some pictures of your thrift hauls. And maybe before you go, also check out our merch store, tendostrash.com. The link for that's also below. Now. We're gonna get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go edit the video you're watching, and then I'm gonna go play with these Legos. And I'll tell you what the worst part of my day is. I don't mind editing videos so much, but whenever I have something like this, I'm just itching to go in the other room and play with. Especially because I'm gonna be sitting there while he's editing, putting the things Lego, together. Yeah. <laughs> Making me jealous. That's what, that's what we gotta go do now. So let us go do that. And like, I, like I've already alluded to, we post daily videos here on the channel. So definitely come back tomorrow and check us out. And until then guys, peace out. Oh my god, I had the worst itch in my eyeball, oh no. and I just talked through all of it, just fighting it. <laughs> ah! So we're doing just like we said, we're sorting Legos, Hannah has the bins out to sort the Legos and pants is in there playing with them. What are you doing, goofball? You can't play with my Legos. Get out, get, pants, don't ignore me. Pants. Are Legos your favorite now? You got one? Oh goodness, don't Does fall. he have a Lego? He had one in his paw, but he dropped it. He had one in his mouth a minute ago. Silly boy. He's lucky all these get washed. <laughs>